Police called this the first step toward justice for a Miami Valley family. Hello, I'm James Brown. I'm Gabrielle Enright. Cheryl McHenry is off. Police said the driver who hit and killed a woman on I-75 South in Moraine kept driving. They found him in Kentucky. Officers have identified Nicholas DeBello from Huber Heights as their suspect. And New Center 7's John Bedell first started working the story Friday. He's live in Moraine walking us through how police found their suspect. John? James and Gabby, I want to show you right here. This is one of the city of Moraine's cameras. It caught the moments after this deadly impact. What this camera and cameras at businesses just off the block here on Dryden Road recorded, it all helped lead police to their suspect. Following the video trail led Moraine police off 75 and north on Dryden Road to these new images they showed us Wednesday. It shows the suspect's truck at a mobile home park off Dryden near East River Road. It's just a mile from the crash scene three hours after the impact that killed 20-year-old Emily Ryan from Franklin. So police started talking to people who live there about the guy driving the truck. Who was he, who was he there to visit? What was he doing? Uh, that gave us a couple other leads. That led police to identifying Nicholas DeBello as their suspect, and the pickup registered in his name matched the truck they'd been looking for. Police used GPS tracking on the truck to find it at a campsite near Louisville Tuesday. Police say they again used GPS to locate DeBello. Late Tuesday night, officers in Florence, Kentucky, just south of Cincinnati, arrested him for OVI. Why was he in Kentucky? What's his connection there? Apparently he's uh, in the construction field, so it appears, just, just based on what, you know, what it is at face value, that he's working at a construction site down there. Right now, DeBello is in jail in Kentucky, being held on an unrelated warrant for a probation violation here in Montgomery County. He'll face an extradition hearing to come back to Dayton to answer to those charges. Right now, DeBello is not facing charges in connection with the deadly hit and run. But Moraine police say once they're finished with their investigation, they hope that won't be the case any longer. But we will present this case to Mr. Heck's office in hopes that uh, we can get a, a charge related to the, the death of, of Emily Ryan. Sergeant Parrish is referencing Matt Heck's office, the Montgomery County prosecutor. Uh, we will stay in touch with investigators and we'll let you know if a grand jury decides to indict DeBello in connection with this deadly wreck on 75. We're live in Moraine tonight. I'm John Bedell, News Center 7. All right, John. Storm Center 7 Meteor.